Well, formed on November 12, 1919 in Chicago, Illinois, the American Farm Bureau Federation continues to be the voice of agriculture. In those days, only 34 states were members of the new federation. 100 years later, every state in the country and the territory of Puerto Rico are part of the American Farm Bureau. The technology and people may have changed, but many of the issues facing farmers and ranchers are the same. A good television news story should start with the most important video, at least according to my college professors. For the American Farm Bureau's centennial celebration, you're looking at what's most important, the grassroots membership. It's where Louisiana Farm Bureau President Ronnie Anderson got his start. It makes us proud that they selected New Orleans. Anderson knows well there were other cities vying for the celebration. New Orleans is known as a party town and we're celebrating this year a hundred years of uh, serving our farmers and members, uh, providing a united voice for them. But the key thing for us is the river. And that's one thing I would like all of these people to realize, how much commerce comes down the river. 60% of U.S. grain exports come down the Mississippi River, and trade is just one issue the American Farm Bureau has addressed over the last 100 years. It's interesting to see that a lot of the, the issues that our farmers faced in 1919 are very similar or the same issues that we face to today. I think the future is really bright. I think the need for American Farm Bureau is, is not any less. It's probably greater than it's been in the last 10 years with all the technical things that we have to deal with. Now there are several other Farm Bureau celebrating their centennials this year, including our friends in Kentucky, Indiana. The Louisiana Farm Bureau Federation though, we're gonna celebrate in 2022. Nice even number. It is. It's a nice even number. We're going to have lots of people here, as President John, uh, Donald John Trump would say. It's going to be huge.